Hey guys, this is Leo from Generates Press and Generates Blocks. In this video, I'm going to do a walkthrough of the crypto template from our site library module. Let's get started. First, there are two logos used here. One is the static logo and the other one is the sticky navigation logo. I'll just quickly show you where they're uploaded. The static logo is uploaded under site identity logo. And the sticky navigation logo is uploaded under layout, sticky navigation, and the sticky navigation logo. Now let's take a look at the front page. We will open up the block navigation and start by the first container here. So this container has a grid wrapper inside followed by two containers. The first container has a headline block, paragraph block, and a buttons block with one button. The second container has a static image. This wave shape here is added as the shape in the first container. Let's move on to the second container. So again, we have a grid wrapper followed by two containers. First one has an image. The second one has some headlines and a button. So this arrow here is added as the icon for the headline. Same as this one on top. And on the main container, there is a background image, as you see here, uploaded in the background section. Then the third container is basically the same as the second container, but in reverse order. The fourth container is a little bit different. We have a grid wrapper followed by four containers. Each of them have a headline block with an icon followed by a paragraph and then a buttons block. Next up, we have another container followed by a grid wrapper with two containers. Inside the container, there's some headlines and some button. All of these are icons for the headline block. So for example, here. Then the last container of this page, we have a headline block followed by another headline block, which is only used for the icon. You can see it here. Then we have a grid wrapper followed by three containers. Each container has a headline and inside of it, there's an icon followed by some text. Now you might also notice that there are a few sections here that's on the home page, but it's not shown in the edit page screen. That's because it's added as a CTA before footer hook block element. We will go through this later. Let's take a look at the about page. Again, let's open up the block navigation. So the first container, it's quite similar to the first container on the home page. The shape here again is added as the container shapes. The second section, we've already gone through it on the home page, so we'll skip it here. Then the third section has a grid wrapper followed by four equal width containers. The background color here is in the background section as it's using the gradient option. Moving on to the our happy client section, we start with a headline 
followed by a grid wrapper with three equal width containers. Inside of each container, we have another grid wrapper followed by two containers. The first one has the image. The second one has the name and the title. Then outside the grid, we have a headline block for the description. Moving on to the last container of the page. So it's the Our Team section. We have a headline first again, followed by a grid wrapper, followed by four equal width containers. Inside of each container, we have an image block and then two headline blocks for the name and job title. Then of course, the buttons block for the social icons. You might notice again that the page title is not in the edit page screen. That's because this is coming from the page header page hero. We will go through this later. Let's go to the services page. Let's open up the block navigation. So again, the first container has a shape added to the main container. Then the second container, which is a big one, has three headline blocks to start, followed by a grid wrapper with six containers in it. Each container has border added and border radius. Of course, we also have some background color. The icons are with the headline block. Let's move on to the next page. The first section has the exact same layout as the other first sections on the other pages again. Then we have the Our Superstar section, which has a grid wrapper followed by four containers in it. Each container has a static image, a couple headlines, a paragraph, then a buttons block. The background color is with the container settings. Let's skip the block page next and go to the contact page first. So this page only has one big container. Inside the container, first we have a grid wrapper followed by two containers. The first one lets you add your contact form shortcode in this area. And then the second one has some headline blocks followed by a grid wrapper for the information. Then we have another headline block you can see the thin line here is added as the top border of the headline. Then of course, some social icon buttons. Now let's take a look at the element added in this site. So the first two are for blog and all archives. The first one is a content template. So we have the feature image with a dynamic GP block, followed by a post date, then H2 post title, then dynamic content post exert block, followed by the read more buttons block. The second one is the block 
pagination. So this one, again, it's using the buttons block that takes you to the next page of posts or previous page of posts. You can see the two elements in the block page here. So this is the content template and this is the pagination. Then we have the CTA before footer. We talked about at the start of this video. So that's this section here that can be seen in basically every page. This element should be pretty straightforward. We have three containers. The last one has a WP show post shortcode which can be configured in the show post section in the dashboard menu. Next up, we have the footer template. Let's open up the block navigation. So first we have the very big outside container. This container has background image added Then we have another container. This is needed to create this overlapping effect. So this is done by adding negative top margin on the inside container. The inside of it is just a grid wrapper followed by some headlines and buttons. This is used throughout the entire site as the footer. Then we have the header element for the merge. So merge is turned on here with some custom navigation colors. This is to merge the header with the content. Next stop, we have a block page hero for basically all the static pages. So it has a container with a background image and then H1 headline, which is the dynamic page title. This is used throughout the entire site, except the front page and all single posts. So that's this element right here. Lastly, we have two block element, a block page hero and a block post navigation for the single posts. So for the page hero, we're disabling the default title, default feature image, and the default primary post meta. The title is added here using the dynamics text. Then we have the post meta added as dynamic headline, of course with an icon. And then the feature image is actually added as the background image of the main container. We also have a fallback image added and that's uploaded in the background. So this image will show if you don't upload a feature image to your post. Let's take a look. Then the last element we have is a post navigation. This one is disabling the default post navigation. So we have a container 
followed by a grid wrapper. The first container has a buttons block that's linked to the previous post. The container has a background image added that will be using the feature image of the previous post. And of course, the headline is just the title of the previous post. Similarly, the headline block for the next one links to the next post. Same as the button. And again, the container background image is linked to the feature image. And we can see that here. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching.